Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 78 of new Selenium IDE. That is how to use assert command. Selenium IDE has huge list of commands and assert command is one of them. So what is the purpose of using this assert command in Selenium IDE automation? The purpose of using this assert command in Selenium IDE automation is to check whether the value stored in a variable is same as the given expected value okay if you want to check whether a value stored into a variable is same as the expected value okay the same as the expected value if both are same okay if the value stored in the variable and uh, the expected value if both are same the assert will pass the test okay if same it will pass the test but if the value stored into the variable is different from the value that is expected by us okay if it is different it will fail it will fail the test so in this example i am going to practically demonstrate this assert command okay with one of the things like uh, like this okay so let's say i want to store the title of this page okay i will store the title of this page and uh, into a variable and uh, i'm using this assert command i will check whether this expected title is displayed okay expected title is stored into the variable or not okay so that is what i am going to do now so coming to the retrieving the title okay for uh, storing the title into the variable i explained store title command in one of the previous videos i explained how to use store title command for retrieving the title of this page and storing into a variable like x okay and uh, once the title of this particular page got stored into the variable and using this assert command we'll check whether the expected title is matching with the retrieved title okay expected title is matching the actual title or not so let me practically demonstrate that in selenium id open selenium id select this third option create a new project uh, give any project name like QFox or anything that you wish. Click on OK. Before doing anything here, guys, we have to first open the application URL. Selenium is providing a command known as open command for opening any application URLs. So now you have to say forward slash here. This forward slash stands for base URL of the application. So the statement when executed will open the base URL of the application. Once the base URL of the application is opened like this, the next thing I will do is I will store this title of this page into a variable using store title command. Okay, store title command. This command I have already explained in one of the previous videos, guys. If not, just refer to that. Okay, store title. So, what is the syntax of this store title? Store title. And uh, you have to give the variable name. That's it. Okay, you don't have to give anything here. Store title and then followed by the variable name. So, this store title command will retrieve the title of this page. That is, uh, as you can see, when I hover, the title of this page is displayed. That title it will retrieve. Okay, and store into this variable x. Now, now we'll be using this assert command okay we'll be using this assert command to check whether the expected title is displayed or not okay the expected title is stored into this variable or not so for that assert variable name that is this one x okay this x into which we have stored the actual title actual title we have stored into the variable x guys and uh, expected value so what is the expected title so for that i will say omayo brackets qfox.com okay let me give the similar one and when i run this this assert command will check whether the value stored in this variable is same as this expected text okay it may not be store title guys if you if you want to like store something into the variable and compare you can also do that okay in this example i am taking the store title but uh, you may not have to take the store title if you have some variable and some value in that you can actually compare that using assert assert command and by providing the expected value okay so run this test last for the application url give the base url here and say start playback it will be a bit fast you see it's fast as you can see everything got passed okay everything it got passed okay so that means that asset has passed the test because the value that is stored in the variable and uh, the value that we are expecting both are same that's why it passed the test what if we expect something different let's say i will expect something like xyz here or like i will give my name here okay which is not the title of the page 
So when I run this, it will fail the test. This time it should fail the test case. You see, it got failed because it's expecting something. This part, Omeo QFOX dot com, it is expecting which is actual value, and uh, that is actual value uh, did not match with the expected value. It is expecting Arun Motori, but uh, in actual value is Omeo QFOX dot com. This is actual. This is expected. Okay. So guys, one more thing. This is how we have to use assert assert command anyhow. But uh, before concluding, we have to know something like. There are two types of commands in Selenium ID. One is assert, and other one is verify. Okay. The purpose of both these commands are same, guys. That is to check whether the value stored in the variable is same as the expected value. The same thing that I showed here. Here, in place of assert, we can use verify command also. But even though the purpose is same, there is a small difference, guys. Assert falls into the hard assertion category, and verify falls into the soft assertion category. What does this mean? That means if any statement having this assert command fails, it will stop the execution, guys. Even though you have any other commands followed by this statement, they will not be executed. In this case, the close command will not be executed, guys, because assert falls into the hard assertion category, which will, which on failure will stop the complete test execution and will not proceed further. Further, if there are any other steps which are following this failed step, will not be executed, guys. Let's run this test to confirm that. You see, it will not close the browser. Okay, it will it will fail and stop there itself. The browser didn't close. You see, close command didn't work. Coming to the other type that is verify, it is soft assertion, guys. That is, despite of the failure, it will continue the execution and the statements following this failed step will, will be executed. Okay. Anyhow, I will be explaining this verify command in the next video. So this is how, guys, we have to use assert command in Selenium ID. In the next video session, I am going to explain the other command that is verify command. So that's it, guys. See you in the next video session. Thank you. Bye.